All right. Uh, welcome to one of our early videos on uh, using area models. Uh, we're going to work here with using area models to factor. This assumes that, we've, uh, that we know a little bit about what's going on here. Um, factoring means breaking this uh, quadratic that we're looking at here up into uh, a couple of binomials multiplied together. So to begin with, if we're going to do the area model, if we want two binomials, then that means we're basically going to have this rectangle here, okay, with one binomial on each side. And the thing that we know is going to happen here, if we set this up right, is that we're going to get a 2x squared in that box, and in this one is going to be a minus 15. Now, one of the properties of this that helps this process along is that the product of those two diagonal, or of that diagonal, which is negative 30x squared, is going to be exactly the same as the product of the other diagonal. So my other diagonal is also going to uh, multiply together to give me a negative 30x squared, but I also know that the two numbers, the two pieces on this diagonal, have to add up to a negative x. So I have two pieces of information about this. Um, one, that if I multiply these two pieces together, okay, I'll bring those two boxes over here, if I multiply them together, I'm going to get negative 30x squared, and if I add them, I am going to get negative x. Okay, well, what numbers do I multiply together to get negative 30 and I add them to get negative 1? Sounds like a negative 6x and a positive 5x will do the job. And so I'm going to transfer those over into my boxes, and it doesn't matter which box I put them in. I now am going to look over here at what my greatest common factor is in the top here, and that looks like a 2x that I can take out of there. And if that is a 2x and inside the box here is a 2x squared, then this must have been an x. But if that's an x and this box down here is a 5x, then this must have been a 5. Um, and if that's a 2x and this is a minus 6x over here, then this must have been a minus 3. And the negative 3 and the plus 5 together make a negative 15. And so the factored form of this should be x minus 3 times 2x plus 5. Okay. Um, let's do another example. Got one here. What if there is no uh, term here? This should also be prefaced by the fact that uh, you always should look for a greatest common factor to begin with. These examples don't have a greatest common factor that I can take out. So if I want to factor 4x squared minus 9, same thing again, make the box. The quadratic term is going to show up in the upper left, and the constant term in the lower right. And I know that the product of those, is, of that diagonal is going to be the same as the product of the other diagonal. So there's going to be a, that's negative 36x squared. But there is no linear term. So that should be a 0x. Um, and I know that I am then looking for something where when I multiply these things together, I get a negative 36x squared. But when I add them together, I get a 0x. And so that looks like a negative 6x and a positive 6x. I can load those in any order over here. I go looking for my greatest common factor in any direction between 4x squared and 6x. The greatest common factor is 2x, which means this must also be a 2x, which forces this to be a negative 3, and this to be a positive 3, and the plus 3 and the minus 3 make a minus 9. So this factors to a 2x plus 3 and a 2x minus 3. Okay. And that's a couple of examples of how we can use area models and this uh, extra knowledge about the product of the diagonals to make factoring fairly straightforward and easy.